Hi, I'm David Wakefield with Prime Lending. Hi, Kevin Grant with Stage to Sell Realty. Okay, and today we're going to talk about what it looks like from the eyes of a real estate agent as well as the eyes of a lender in purchasing a new house. So we're going to kind of unpack that over a series of videos that will give you an indication of uh, what the necessary steps are in purchasing a house. And we're going, to, we're going to hit some big picture stuff. Obviously, to get really granular, we need to talk in person and really know your exact situation. But uh, the first thing is, let me, well, let me ask you the first thing, Kevin. Sure. Where do you start? I mean, yeah. you know, the, the phone rings, somebody wants to That's buy a right. house. What yeah, happens? great question. Great question. One of the first things that we start talking about is your why. Mm -hmm. Why do you want to buy a house? Um, you know, do you want to get out of a rental situation? Are you upgrading, downgrading, moving? job change, all those kind of things. What's your why? Then uh, we start looking at what are your wants and needs, all right? Uh, and then that dovetails into where, and then the next question turns into how much can I afford, right? Mm -hmm. And I detail all of this in a buyer's guide that I can get to you uh, that we then walk through and really talk about all the, 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 the steps in the home buying process. But one of the important things is certainly looking at what can I afford on a monthly basis for a home? And that's where we connect with you right off the bat. Beautiful. And, and guys, that buyer's guide is very helpful. So um, please reach out to Kevin about that. He can get a copy. It gives a lot of detail and a lot of the, uh, a lot of the steps really spelled out for you. And, and that's right. So Kevin, you refer clients over to me. Uh, sometimes we find that uh, when they do reach out, they, uh, they have a, a dollar amount in mind, right? Mm -hmm. And sometimes that is in tune with reality and sometimes it's right. not. Right. Yeah, so, sure. Sure. So a lot of times there's both directions. Up. Maybe maybe they can afford more than they think. Also. Exactly. We see that sometimes. It, too. Exactly. So sometimes you've got that champagne taste and a beer budget. <laughs> right. And, and otherwise, uh, other times you might have the uh, the beer budget, uh, but right. the ability to go for the to champagne, go a more. Sure. The, the desired you know lower lower price. And it's always refreshing to me as a lender because very often uh, buyers are coming in, they're reaching to the to the upper upper level. And hey, if the numbers work, mm -hmm. and if we see that's going to be a good thing for them, and we can make it happen, we want to do that. But what's important for us is that when you obtain a, a mortgage, you're able to pay it back, right? That's right. the important thing. That's key. And you're there for long term, and then uh, and then we'll get into this much later down the line. But then uh, three, four, five, seven, ten years later, you want to sell it. Uh, Kevin comes back in on that yeah, line as well, we right? Um, so guys, so, so the first step is obviously you're going to have that conversation with Kevin. Uh, you'll explore the initial why you want to buy and, and some of that basic big picture information about maybe where you want to be. Mm -hmm. Discuss some rough uh, sales price desires. Uh, I come into the picture at that point and help figure out exactly what the qualifications are. We start reviewing the best mortgage strategies. Uh, and really what I'm looking to do, Kevin, for the clients you refer over, and, and there's, we have clients of all sophistications levels, right? Mm -hmm. but, but I try to teach every, or treat everybody the same way. And what I'm looking for is I want to help them maximize their buying power, right. minimize the expenses, and basically find the best overall loan for them. And sometimes it's not the loan they think of initially, uh, that, they're, that their uh, roommate, their brother, or their grandpa, whatever right. uh, suggested for them. Um, I've done this uh, since 1994. I've done somewhere uh, in the in the range of about four thousand mortgages. I think right. I've just about cracked the code. There you go. Yeah, you've you've <laughs> seen it all, and and I, and I tell buyers that in that first discussion that we'll have with the buyer, um, I'll really make sure that we're in lockstep with you and what uh, you are helping them with to make sure that I'm not showing them homes that they can't afford. I've had that happen before where, where they say, yeah, I think I can afford X number. I start looking at that type home and they love it. They fall in love with the area of the house and then lo and behold, oh no, we're a hundred thousand dollars off or something like that. Right. That's very frustrating for everybody. Waste my time, waste their time. And so we want to make sure that we are in sync with, um, what you, what you can afford really on a monthly basis is the key for me and I tell sure, people that sure. all the time what is you know your debt to income ratio and all these things and your comfort level of what you can, what that mortgage can be looking at all the other factors too of things like HOA and CDD and insurance and all this stuff so there's a lot of things that we unpack very early on in this buying process right exactly and, and sometimes yeah by the way that happens uh, more often than we that we'd like right where people mm -hmm. say I might say the budget is four hundred thousand, then they come in and find something for you know five hundred thousand or four seventy five, 
that's got association dues, right? Right. And it's one of those things, well, hey, guess what? You can do it, but you got to sell your car and a kidney, and then maybe we can find <laughs> yeah, a way to yeah, make yeah. it happen. Yeah. Short of that, Just you... Just one you, kidney is okay. Yeah, yeah. That's right, keep one. But, but you've overreached in many cases. So that's where we have to have that really, uh, that heart-to-heart, basically, mm-hmm. right? And making mm-hmm. sure that the numbers are in line with what the true qualifications are. So, yeah. um, okay. so that's the beginning of the buying process, really, and, and that can take... Uh, a couple hours. I can do that on the phone. Sure. Love to do it in person. We're sitting here in our real estate office on Phillips Highway, uh, and um, you know, we love to have that conversation in person too, and I'm sure David does the same thing. Uh, but uh, yeah, we just need to spend that time because that time is saved and frustration is saved down the line too. Certainly, certainly. And, and my office is five minutes away, so close and convenient. Mm-hmm. But so guys, that's the, that's the step number one, right? You talk to Kevin, you talk right. to me, we get to know each other a little bit. We figure out really what the uh, you, you know some of your basic strengths and buying powers are, what your basic wants and goals are, mm-hmm. and uh, and then the next step is going to be going into doing some research. So we're going to come back in the next video and discuss uh, kind of that big picture research conversation. Awesome. All right. Thanks, Kevin.